Well, well, well. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. 
to say Wilfredo. Hello, good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you? I'm um, really fine, teacher. It just uh, I have a, a rest day today, and I have to bring my my pet to the vet. Oh, really? Because yeah, because she's really crazy. Yeah, I, I don't know how how to say uh, when they when when they have the period. Oh, really? Because it's a girl. Yeah. Um, then. She, she had a period the last no i guess that was in november and today well not today if not that was like three days ago she began to to simulate uh, a pregnant so i have to bring to the pet uh to the vet to to consult uh, that uh, that illness so she's in heat no she isn't she's not in yeah. heat no she she has one illness that is named uh, fake pregnant oh fake pregnancy yeah so i have to to go i have to win so with have her to go I had to go. No, I went with her to the bed. Okay, to I consult. took her. I took her to the bed. Okay, I took her to the bed to to what to to consult. Yeah, to consult. To consult that uh, that problem, and now she is calm. Uh, the the better I, I don't know how do you say veterinario or the doctor the can be yeah the bed the doctor you say the bed, the bed? okay yeah. the bed applies some some medicine and now she is cow I guess that the the medicine is making the reaction the medicine really helped yeah that's good, that's good. Yeah, with little animals, you gotta be careful. What breed is your dog? Uh, it's uh, one boxer. Oh, really? Yeah. They are very hyper. Yeah, really, yeah. They are really hyper. Yeah, that's but, nice. Yeah, now she is calm. How I guess is she? that she, uh, she has... She's, she is like, yeah, she is uh, seven years old. Oh my gosh. Yeah, she's big already. Yeah. But she is really high, uh, happy. And she likes play a lot. And also she like go running. She likes. Yeah, she likes go running with me when I got when I got to run. But oh, really? Yeah. Do you go running every day? Uh, almost every day. Maybe uh, the week, five or four times in a week. Oh, that's nice. How long do you run? Um, maybe eight kilometers. Oh, that's a lot. Yeah. That's a lot. Man, yeah. running, running is not for me. Yeah, I like. I don't, I don't like running. <laughs> no, I really like it because I when run. I was in... young, I used to like cycling. Oh, cycling. Yeah, when I was uh, young, I like cycling, but I prefer running. When I was young, I used to like cycling, and with some friends, we used to. Actually, we used to run a lot because uh, sometimes we used to come from San Diego to San Marcos mm -hmm. on bicycles. Uh -huh. That was cool. Yeah, but it was a long, long time ago. 
<laughs> How was your last day that you got to ride on a bicycle? Oh, years ago. Four years ago? No, 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 like 20. Like 20? Yep. Wow, it's a long time. Yeah. Nowadays, what I do is, well, then I started, well, when I stopped uh, bicycle and I was like, I used to play basketball also. We used to play with some mm -hmm. friends like two, three times a week. Basketball, basketball is good, but I prefer uh, soccer. Oh, yeah, but that's because you can play soccer. I suck at soccer. <laughs> Really? You I never practice? Yeah, I used to play soccer. I used to uh -huh. play uh, defense. But uh -huh. the problem is that uh, I was too aggressive, you know? <laughs> I used to fall a lot. Uh -huh. So um, my, my sports were more, I was more into volleyball, basketball. I used to play volleyball but too. And but if you are play... so aggressive, teacher, I guess that you can practice football. No, no, not really, not really. Uh, and I also used to play badminton. Mm -hmm. For football, you know what's my problem? I mean, uh, uh, I can throw. I can throw the football. Mm -hmm. I mean, I learned I learn how to throw, and uh, I mean, I spent years working with a guy. He used to be a, a, a high school coach in the States, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. we used to work together. He told me, he made me understand the game, and then he told me how to, how to play a little bit. But, uh, ooh, I was very, very keen, and my weight was very, very low. Because I used to weigh at that time like 120 pounds. Wow. Yeah, now now I am fat. Now I am fat. <laughs> I, used, I used to be pretty thin. Yeah, because now, now I am weighing like 150. 150? Yep. Okay. And I mean, from 120 to 150, it's a lot. Yeah, yeah. Well, to give you an example, when I got when I got married, I I was waiting uh, 115. 115. Yeah. Wow. I was pretty thin. Yeah. But uh, that was my problem with football, and I mean, my body frame was too thin, too weak. Yeah, you was very skinny. Yeah, I was pretty skinny. Well, I am not that tall, so, but still, because I am 172. Mm -hmm. 172? Yeah. Uh, but you are, um, no. you are up than average. the average. Yeah, up than the average. average. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, I mean, now sports is not my thing. Now I, I go to the gym like three times a week, three or four times a week. I try mm. to go to the gym. But mostly yeah. to, to the weights and I am still undergoing um, some therapy to, to for my hand. I broke it for my wrist. Mm. And so I, I am taking it slow yet. But, you know, it's good to exercise once in a while, it's good. Yeah, yeah, it's really good because when we are old, we need a lot uh, and help. About I, am, I am old already. <laughs> How no, old teacher, are you? You're you're young. Young. I'm 34, teacher. Okay, you are young. I'm 42. Yeah. Uh, but I guess it isn't the difference. I know um, another man that has like 52 and they are he's playing 52. soccer. 52, uh, yeah, he's 52. 52. Nicolas, Nicolas, you turned 52 or 53. I remember your birthday last year, right? 
Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, <clears throat> six December. No, yeah, but uh, how old? Uh, 60, 68, 1968. 50. 60. 68. 60. 68. 60. 60. 60. Yeah, because I, I went to Cafe Talon the, the last week, teacher. I guess that was on, I don't know if it was on Tuesday or it was on Friday, but I, I saw uh, one man playing soccer and he looks like, I don't know, maybe 68 or 69. That's a lot. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I, and there's he people was who running a lot in the sports. Yeah, yeah. And if you never, that's why stop, you yes. have to practice the tree. Yeah, but nowadays, you know, not enough time. That's my problem. <laughs> I, I'm always working. Yeah, I know that. Those days, that affects. We have a lot of things to do. Yeah. Hey, thank you very much, Jose Wilfredo. Welcome. You're welcome, teacher. Thank you. Let's see, let's see, Marta, hello, Marta. We were missing you yesterday. Hello, teacher, good evening. Good evening. Okay, tell me the old trusty one, Marta. You were working yesterday. Yes, teacher. I was yeah, you working know, we will very try. hard. We will try to believe you. <laughs> it's really teacher. It's true. <laughs> okay, okay. It's for real. It's for real. It's for real. <laughs> okay, yes, teacher. Welcome to the class, Marta. Nice Thank having you, you here. Thank you, teacher. And tell me, do you practice any sport? No, any sport. My sport is uh, it. <laughs> it Sorry. Is. <laughs> That's a delicious sport, but my favorite mm. sport. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay. Did you used to practice any sport when you were younger? Uh, let me see. No, teacher, I really didn't know. It's Not my really. favorite sport for me. No. I like. Um, uh, we'll go to the gym, but. Uh, score for me is is not. Oh, but uh, do you exercise regularly? Yeah, yeah, but uh, before the pandemic. But oh. uh, today, now I you don't actually no. Mm. Do it. Do it. <laughs> yeah, Marta, welcome to the class. Thank you very much for being here with us. Thank you, teacher. Let's see who else is around. I got a lot of people here today. Marcela, hello, Marcela. How are you? Hello, teacher. I'm fine. Okay, tell me how was your day? Mm, was busy. My day was busy, but not not too much no i will try to use the, the the structure that we learned yesterday no was not not as, not, not as uh, busy than yesterday not as busy as yesterday not as not as busy as yesterday mm, today was mm, busy yes but we didn't do too much just the normal things that we do um, was fine. It was a good day. After my job, I I had the opportunity to go um, to eat a, an, ice, an ice cream. Maybe that's a, a yeah. It, it's like I. How do you say despejar? On my wine. Mind? On wine. On wine, my mind. Yes, I did that. Let me was text fine. it for you. Okay. Thank you. 
Unwind. Those ladies. Unwind. Yes. Thank you. I oh, in Spanish no. I usually use that word. Yeah, that's cool. I mean, it's always good to to be able to to relax a little bit, to unwind, to let um, some steam go off. That's nice. That's nice. Yes. My dear, thank you very much and welcome to the class. Okay, thank you, teacher. Let's see. Frank. Hello, Frank. Hello, teacher. How are you? Just fine, just fine. What about you? Everything's fine. Uh, it was a good day. Uh, I was doing a training session for some people, so very entertaining. entertaining. Okay, it was very good. Nice. And tell me, we were asking some of your classmates about sports. Do you practice any sports? Yes, I really like to to do some sports. Uh, I used to work out a lot during the week and I really like to do some workouts at the gym and I really like to play soccer too. I try to play every Friday uh, at the afternoon. In the afternoon? It's in the afternoon. So yes, I, I really like football. Uh, overall and other well I, I i like to play some ping pong too but i don't have the opportunity to do as i as i i don't know i would like uh, yes i i would like yes oh, but i i i play pong. yes i I am, I don't know how to say, but uh, I tried to do it. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, ping pong is not a sport that, I don't know, I was never yeah. interested in that one. <laughs> Seriously? Yeah, I mean, yeah, no, 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 not really my thing, even though I had the opportunity to practice it because some of my friends used to play it, but I mean, okay. as I tell you, no, not really my thing. I, I practice a lot during my high school. So I I learned to to play. Where did you study in high school? In I I studied in in a in Salesiano I don't know how to say un colegio Salesiano in, in oh. Santa Ana. Oh really? In Santa Ana because I'm from from that part of the country. Yeah, don't worry. Half of my class is from Santa Ana. <laughs> okay. So yeah, I... let's see, let me see, let me see, let me take count. Wilfredo is from Santa Ana, right? Uh, Frank is from Santa Ana. And Ana Claudia is from Santa Ana. Who else is from Santa Ana, guys? Me. Rebecca. Rebecca is from Santa Ana. My oh, gosh. Yes, Colegio Selección de San Jose. <laughs> who else? Who else? <laughs> Mr. Osorio, are you from Santa Ana? Is he? Yeah, right? Well, there's a lot of people here from Santa Ana, man. Ah, okay. As I tell you. Very my, good. Almost my whole class is from over there. Oh, <laughs> Fernando is also from Santa Ana. Okay. I'm from I'm from there, but uh, currently I, I'm living in Santa Tecla for work, and you know yeah, that happens. That happens. Yes. Yeah, but so, Santa Tecla is nice. I like it. Yes, very very calm city. Yeah, it is very good. So well, yeah, Tom. No, uh, with with. As I tell, as I told you, uh, I practiced there in my high school, so I learned about how to play some ping pong. I really like, but uh, now I don't have the opportunity to play uh, too much. 
but yes, I, I like the sports in general. Okay, perfect. Excellent. Thank you very much. And welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Let's see who else is around. Well, before anything else, guys, I'm sorry, I need to take the attendance. Amber Eliel Faro Gomez. Present. Thank you, Amber. Ana Claudia Gonzalez Velasquez. Present, teacher. Daniel Eduardo Sobeda Valencia. Erwin Francisco López Rojas. Present. Fernando Marvin Gonzalez Martinez. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. José Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Marta Ana Belinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present. Thank you. Nuria Elizabeth López Perlera. Rebeca Yasmin Monterrosa Figueroa. Present. Roxana Ibeta Asensio de Mejía. Present. Stephanie Alejandra Salmerón Ibarra. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present, teacher. Wilman Frank Figueroa Peñate. Present. Wilfredo Present, Guardado teacher. Rivera. Present teacher. Shanira Elizabeth Asensio García. Present. Marcela Noemí Batres Monterrosa. Present. Walter Mauricio Morales Arauco. Present. Perfect. Thank you, guys. Let's see. I still got time for some of you. Let's see. Let's see. Walter, hello. How are you? I'm all teacher. Uh, I feel a little tired. Oh, really? A hard day yeah. at work? Ah, uh, yes. Oh, man, it's just, it's just Tuesday. Excuse me? It's just Tuesday. Apenas es martes. Oh, yeah. For the moment, teacher. Uh, the week is long. <clears throat> I had a lot of work. <laughs> Yeah. Well, Walter, it's nice to have you here. Welcome to the class. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Uh, Wilfredo, hello. How are you? How are you, teacher? I'm just fine. Just fine. But I'm I'm okay, teacher. So relax. I can I'm imagine sorry. a long vacation. Uh, yes, yeah, sir. I, I'm sorry for 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 Walter. I I I heard that he felt so tired. But now, now I'm okay at home. Oh really? Yes, sir. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. But you know, today in the afternoon, I went to to I I went to see my son's practice soccer. But yeah, I I I I want to know with him to to see him. But okay, how is he doing? Good. Um, He's doing good. Excuse me. Will you repeat? Is he doing good? Yes, yes, very nice. Excellent. Because the uh, next Saturday, um, he's going to go to play to Metapan. Oh, nice. Yes, Alcalero Suarez. Oh, really? That is wow, going to be the match. Cool. Yes, that's cool. What's the name of the of the team he is into? Um, when my son play. Yeah. The Menores del Paz, Sub 16. Oh, really? Yes. That's nice. Yes, but uh, it is nice. It is nice to see well, him play. 
It is nice, I told you, it is nice when I, I can go to see him because yeah, I, 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 I enjoy when I show him. I can imagine, I can imagine. Yes, yes. Hey teacher, what about you? You told, you told us last, I, I, I don't remember last year, that you, you played soccer sometime? Yeah, once on a while, once on a blue moon. And what what other what other other sport do you practice? Now none. I just go to the gym. Ah, it's okay. But uh, I mean, I stopped practicing sports like uh, six, seven, eight years ago. Times, imagine. Eight years ago, I stopped because I used to play basketball a lot and volleyball, but then we stopped because, I mean, my, my, my obligations, the place where I work, it changed. I used to, at that time, I used to, I used to teach at, at a private school and we had all the facilities to practice sports. I used to teach at Colegio Garcia Flamenco at that time. Okay. And there we had a, a soccer a soccer field, a basketball court, a volleyball court. So we used to play a lot. There was space and there was time. And we used to play um, with the students, also against the students. We used, and I mean, like uh, twice a year, we used to play with against the these guys from this school, uh, FESA. FESA. Yeah. Nice. So, yeah, we had the opportunity at that time, but now, man, I don't. I'm too old. No, I, uh, it, it, is, it is common, teacher, because when I start to job, to work, uh, many, many sport, I, I stop to practice too, because yeah. I, I remember around 19, I practice karate for seven years because I, I, I love it karate too, as a football. And I, I swim, uh, I, what, what, what is the pass of swim teacher? Swam. Swam, oh, okay. Swam. Swam, oh, okay. I swam too with the La Cruz Verde. Oh yes, yeah, I, we love it. Love it. But when I start to work, and when my my oldest child, uh, when when he was born, uh, I stopped many many activities too, many sport activities. Yeah, that's and, normal. Yes, but. But um, occupational hazard, teacher, when we when we get married. <laughs> yeah. When we got That's married. That's actually true. Yes. Yes. But I enjoy my family. Now, uh -huh. my 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 favorite sport now it is work for them. Well, that happens, my friend. That happens for yes. real. Mister, welcome to the class. Thank you very Thank much you for being with us. Welcome okay, teacher. guys. Let's see. Uh, you got... Welcome, everyone. Welcome. Uh, let's see. Ambar, uh, Shanira, uh, Claudia Jose Osorio, Susana, Erwin. I'm sorry that I couldn't talk to you like individually, but right now we need to jump into the next activity. And, we'll... and the next activity goes like this. You got a question that I just texted to you. Is it better to work in a large or small or a small company? What do you think? Is it better to work for a big company or for a small company? Okay, guys, I need you to get into the groups and start, please, asking and answering that question. You will have three minutes, just three minutes for this activity.
Let's see, let me check the groups. Let's see, number one, it's okay. Two, three, four, five. don't work um, in central uh, department. So I think that uh, it's better when you are working in a large company because you you have um, a lot of growth opportunities. Oportunidades de crecimiento. Or uh, you can uh, learn more. Maybe when you are working in a small company, you can... Um, Learn uh, more easy than other uh, easier. companies. Easier. easier, easier than other companies. But I think that is is complex because in a small company, uh, the operation is too um, little, I think, and maybe we can uh, learn more in a large company in my opinion. <coughs> mm. <laughs> yes, I think they said uh, the same in many things, but I think that when you start and you have an opportunity to work in a, a small company, if you uh, win, I don't know, a lot of experience in the different areas and in areas. areas and I think that you prepare for ground and to change a lot of uh, other company and you experience uh, a growth to a large company and mm -hmm. I don't know I think but no is all the cases but I see cases than start in a small company and then to grow up in a large company. And maybe people uh, that participate in these small companies looks the company as a family. So if uh, you can decide what do you want to uh, to receive and what is more comfortable comfortable to you yes um, now that I listen the advantage that you that you got from Pizza Hut and Banco Agricola I mean I would like to work in a big company I it actually uh, currently I work in a, a small company but I mean you have too much benefits <laughs> oh my god i maybe now we have a, a, the social seguro sec, social what do you say yeah, social, social, security. social security now we have that but it's not the same than a medical care or the private insurance that you said you had i mean it could be better to work in a in a big company because of the benefits, but maybe um, it's not a, a, a big advantage, but uh, maybe working with people who, who you can feel as a family. Currently, I, I, I mean, my, my co-workers are like my family and, and you can talk to them and like you said, a family. But I mean, it, it also in a big company, you can do that. <laughs> it's just the way that you are. Yeah, That's it's a... I would choose a big company. But I'm, I'm good. It is, it, is, it is hard for me because I, I need to do some memos. 
on my bando. Yeah, it's, it's some many people for, who yes, check. For, yes. Uh, now I have around 19 people. But in other times I, I had around 130 people. Oh my I God. Have had. Yeah. I have. I, I have, have had. had. Yo he tenido. Uh, I have had. Like this. Let me text it for you. I have had. I have had. Ah, yes, 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 teacher. Yes, yes. Then Marta in a in a small company, I guess that is go is go, maybe maybe boring. <laughs> yeah, boring, boring, so boring because yeah, the the opportunity is very complicated because you only want one position, um, the same routine. Uh, I don't know. Yes. But in, in my company, um, we are around 28, 28 supervisors. Oh my God, yes, this is very... Let's see. Nuria, hello, how are you? Hello, teacher, fine, and you? How are you today? I am just fine, you know, I was this close of texting you. You texting me where, teacher? I was, I was this close. Ah, I was, ah, I was in a uh, all Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Tuesday, today is Tuesday, right? <laughs> yeah, it is. Yes, <laughs> yeah. Uh, during three months, I have receiving a leadership, leadership course online. And these, like the classes are only on Tuesday from six and a half to 80, 45 minutes. And it's for that reason that I, I have to attend this class today, teacher. I'm sorry, but I'm here. Glad to have you here. Thank you very much and welcome. Thank you. Okay, let's see. Erwin, hello Erwin. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Very good. Thanks. Okay. Tell hello. me. Tell me. What do you think? Is it better to work in a large or in a small company? Well, I think that you have some advantage if you advantages. have if, advantages. Advantages. If you work for a, a small company, as you can treat directly with the boss, with the owner of the company, uh, and maybe you can receive some good benefit, benefits. But um, if you work for a, good, a, a big or large company, maybe the benefits are better. Uh, you can have maybe a, a private insurance, a, private insurance, I'm sorry, uh, or you can have a medical care and dental care too. Uh, some benefits, well, when I was working for, for Operador del Sur, they give me my uh, cell, my, my uh, cell phone number, uh, okay. some benefits, uh, some, um, yeah, benefits for my car uh, and they- What was they your made, position in the company? I was a manager. Oh, that's nice. Uh-huh. 
-hmm. Yeah, no, I know that company is good with the employees. Yeah, they give, uh, so, they give uh, equipment and a lot of stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And also trainings are good, the, 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 the security. Yes. So the trainings for, are good. For me, um, both have, have some advantages and some- And disadvantages. Uh, uh -huh. I'm sorry? And disadvantages. And disadvantages too, exactly. Perfect, thank you. Thanks for sharing. Let's see, Nicolas, what do you think? What do you prefer, a big company or a small company? Well, uh, in my experience, I prefer the, yeah, a little company. Uh, Why? Uh, well, uh, understanding a uh, little company with with a uh, 15 or 50 persons, uh, this this decision is for is is um, is very controlled the activities for the company, and no is necessary uh, no uh, to know uh, very people. Many people. And many people and uh, and I I think is is menos menos less. teacher sorry less less a uh, uh, problematic a uh, process process okay so what you mean what you mean is that the logistic is easier, yes. right? Yes, uh, correct. This, this is my uh, my opinion about perfect. this is a little company. Perfect, perfect, excellent. Uh, okay. Give me just a second. Let's see. Give me just a second. Hold on, guys, we are trying to solve something here. Just a second, just a second. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Teacher. Yes. Uh, I send you to. Ah, that's what I'm trying to solve. Yeah. No, no, no. Uh, about Osorio. He told me that. He... Yes. Ah, okay. That he cannot okay. connect. Yes, yes. But he told me that if I can give, give him all the aid. No problem, no problem. Okay. But he is trying to connect, right? Él está tratando de conectarse. Yes. But his his cell phone doesn't work. Only can hear you, but he can participate when when a video. Okay, no problem. Okay, teacher. Just a second. Okay, let's see. I still got time. Um, no, Fernando, welcome. Let's see, Marta, what do you think, Marta? What do you prefer? Well, I think big company, sure, small in, company? In my, in my case, I prefer big company because I think so is more uh, opportunities for you um, 
the benefit. Uh, I I think so is is more develop the abilities. Um, maybe good experience in your life. Uh, I think so is better with the company teacher. Okay. Thank you very much and thanks for sharing your opinion. Now let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Roxana, what about you? Are you still here? Oh yeah, that's Roxana. Hi, good evening. Well, in my case, uh, I agree with Marta because <clears throat> I think that when you are working in a big company, you can have a growth opportunity and maybe you can get a good position and a good salary. And I think that uh, everybody start to work in a small company. And when you are uh, talking about experience, the best option is when you are working in a little company. But when you need to um, desarrollar, develop, develop, develop maybe uh, the best option for me is a big company. Okay, perfect. Excellent. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay, let's see. Well, now somebody's trying to help me. Now, guys, well, let me jump. Another question for you. Okay. Now we are going to talk about ourselves. And we are talking about something that is pretty common, right? It's a topic that all of us know a little bit about okay so the topic for this moment is this one how has the internet changed our lives has it been a big influence or hasn't it that's what i want you to discuss okay but now we are going to discuss it in bigger groups groups are created please I need you to jump in. We can go to we can go with to the know. teacher with the yeah. teacher uh, uh, Abarra de Santiago. Let's do it. Hey, the last the last oh, um, beautiful place. I like it. Yeah, three of weeks, course. Three weeks ago I went in Metalillo. Ah uh, yes. Mm. Yes. We we were near to when are to when are we going to Barra Santiago? I don't know. Uh, uh, Nicolás, you know. I I under I, I think it is possible visit Barra de Santiago uh, in one week. Uh, oh. Of course, Saturday. Saturday. Oh no, Saturdays I cannot, my friend. Barra de Santiago, 
for me is 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 best Barra de Santiago with Metalio for me. Really? Is it, it, a, 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 a is better it's than a, is better than Metalio. Is is better. <laughs> is better than Metalio. Okay. Nicolas. Um hey, there's Noria here, don't forget. No, okay, okay. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> For uh, the people. For I use the people. In, okay. in my house, uh, but is uh, my my son uh, use uh, the internet for uh, a study for mm -hmm. the study a study to study to study a study a study and uh, yeah, I don't know. It's, uh, for me is a uh, uh, work and uh, work. Yo, girls. <laughs> Uh, well, I think it's my turn. Yes. Yeah, for me. Uh... Internet. If you don't have internet in this, this. Um... Age? Uh, what? Age. This age. If you have internet and in, in, in this age or in this uh, different tools, you cannot do anything you these days because you are a dependent of that. Uh, we have the information in our hands. Yes. If you well, need something, actually, you can- We have become uh -huh. dependent on them. We have become dependent. That's my point of view. That's uh -huh. my point of view. We have become uh -huh. dependent. Nos hemos vuelto. Uh -huh. Okay. We have become dependent of the internet and of the different tools. I se me olvidado los los aparatos. Devices, gadgets. Uh -huh. The gadgets. Everything, communication, um, maybe the, the 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 way that we love to others. <laughs> it's different. I I am forty five years old, and I remember that our uh, uh, our time before was better in many other sense, senses, uh, but today the changes in social communication are of particular significance. Also, analog tools still have their place in some sectors. Uh, new technologies are continuing to gain ground every day. And, Transforming our communication practice and possibilities too, as you said. Um, particularly among younger people, but uh, we, sometimes we are young too. Particularly, <laughs> particularly. Particularly, okay. Particularly. Uh, particularly. Particularly. Lovely. Difficult Lovely. teacher. Yeah, no, particularly. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> I, I think in this area, the internet has um, removed all communication barriers. Um, online, the conventional uh, constraints strengths uh, of space and time disappear. And maybe it's a, we have more, a better democracy, social democracy in our life as in the communication area. Mm. So- uh, Interesting, we, interesting point of view. By the way, Erwin, yes. uh, beautiful use of vocabulary. Thank you, teacher. Beautiful use of vocabulary. Nice. Keep on sharing with your classmates. I'm gone. I'm going to go check on another group. 
Okay. Uh, watching or listening or something like that. Because yes, now I we are talking about uh, kids and internet. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> the thing the thing is that we need to make good use. So it's complex when you have some kids in your house and you try to uh, have control that everything that they want to uh, they they want to uh, to watching or listening. To keep yeah. Control. To keep control about the control. Uh, control control yeah it is complex because uh, internet uh, change our life in the positive form but if you can i have i i saw one day a video that talk about the 80s that it was so incredible when someone has for example i don't know at TV and also if they, this TV have colors. So I think this happened too with the computers and all these How things well that you we talked before. <laughs> um, yes. 24. Oh, you are a kid. 24. Yeah, because That's I saw why. I saw a video that talked about the 80s. About, <laughs> about that for that I was talking about. You know, about. you just broke my heart. I am from the 70s. <laughs> Sorry. I am from, no, but... I am from 79. Man, oh, that's yeah. hard. <laughs> no, that my father put that video. So be, oh my for gosh, that, I, you're yeah. killing me here. <laughs> no, yeah, no. But Amber, please it was save a good me. Time. Save me, Amber. <laughs> Talk to me something. Nothing special. I think the internet is very important because improve the communication between the people, right? Um, I I remember in another times the communication medium, for example, public phones or telegrams is very disgusting or Means, uh, means of communication. Means, means, means of, of communication. communication. Come on, yes. Amber. Did you use the, 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 the telegraph? <laughs> and when I, a um, child, I remember my, my dad sent me a telegram uh, with three words <laughs> or four yeah. words. Yeah, because yeah, you're from the it. 80s, right, Amber? <laughs> Sorry? You're from the 80s. Yes. Uh, Stephanie was I'm talking born. about things about us. No, there were no bad things. <laughs> uh, the teacher, the teacher and wants to see his face, the, <laughs> the relationship. Yeah, the Stephanie it's, too. It's a little kid. It's a little kid. Yeah? <laughs> a little kid. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah, how old are you, Walter? And twenty-eight. No, excuse oh, me. Twenty. <laughs> you are a kid also. Ah yes. <laughs> um, <laughs> and Amber, we are. You're young. Amber, you're younger school. than me, right? Sorry. You're younger than me. Yes, I thirty four. Oh you? my gosh! I'm, I'm out of here. <laughs> bye, guys. Bye, bye. Are you? You think I? <laughs> Sorry. No, I I thought you were actually. I thought you were like around thirty five, thirty four. I was close in that. Yeah, but I'm out of here. <laughs> yeah, Amber is like See? well, my. My youngest sister is older than Amber. I'm out of here, guys. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Oh, people. this is my type of group. Yeah. <laughs> 
Okay, I'm sorry. I just need to ask something. Nuria, hello, Nuria. Hi, teacher. How old are you? Wow. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> oh, oh, no, come, come on, on how Nuria. How many years do you... It's, 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 for, it's for educational purposes. <laughs> I'm, I'm 43, teacher. Okay, there. Yeah, you are of mine. Man, they, they've been kicking me out of the other groups because whenever they start talking, they say, oh, yeah, my parents told me that they used to use the telegraph. And I was like, man, <laughs> I felt so old. <laughs> yeah, telegraph, well, a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, but the problem is that I use them, I remember them. Uh, and some ah. guys were saying, yeah, my dad told me that. Y en un grupo me decían ahí, no, mi papá me cuenta que, man. Ah, yeah, they yeah, are younger. <laughs> yeah, it was a sad experience. That's why I've been <laughs> running from group to group. No, but you are younger too, teacher. Maybe you have 48. 42. 42. Okay, you are younger. Wow, I, I'm older than you, teacher. Just one, that's nothing. <laughs> okay, guys, let's get out of here. Okay, let's just wait for everybody to get back. And there they go. Here they are. Let's see. Perfect. Ambar. Ambar, Ambar, my dear. Hello. Yes. As you were of the ones mistreating me, because I'm old. Tell me, Ambar, how has the internet changed our lives? Well, I think the inter internet improved the communication because in another time is more difficult than uh, was was more difficult was difficult than nowadays. Today. Yes, and uh, for example, the WhatsApp or Facebook is a good a communication means and for example zoom in the pandemic is a good tool because improve the communication in in our jobs in our class for example and I working think it's, environments working environments working environments okay excellent number nice point of view thank you very much Thank you, teacher. Well done, well done. Let's see. Ana Claudia, tell me, how has the internet changed our lives? Hi, teacher, I'm sorry. I want first of all apologize because I was out. My internet <laughs> crashed as always. I'm going to call to the to Claro team to the, tonight after the class because it's happening so frequently. Uh, how? Has the internet changed our life? Mm, I think for better, change it because in my case, I'm taking advantage that because I have the internet, it doesn't matter if crash sometime, I'm able to work from home. And for me, that's a blessing. I'm saving money. I'm sleeping better. Hey, I'm at home with my relatives. And for me, improve my my life, uh, my 
life cycle could be life cycle lifestyle like a uh, lifestyle okay i thought that lifestyle was a word just for fashion stuff like that no oh really <laughs> okay no, 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 not at all. okay ah, okay in my case improve my lifestyle for better for good okay how was Perfect. to say for Let's better say. or for, for good for better for better ah, okay improve my life for better mm -hmm. okay yeah it's just that if you say for good that means uh, like forever ah uh, well let's let's say it's forever for me <laughs> <laughs> interesting interesting okay let's see let's see nobody under 30 years old is allowed to participate in this exercise so let's see who else is around yeah uh, uh, uh. marta what about you tell me how has the internet changed our lives Well, teacher, in my case, I think so is the uh, is the change in our life because the communication is very important. Uh, actually, uh, the the knowledge too because it's more easy uh, find many topic about the your school for example children uh, or you can make anything in the internet you can uh, try uh, maybe different uh, topic or business or uh, you, you can anything, but I think so the change the no use it, no you cannot use it correctly the tools is a loss time because if you use it for um fa fine all day you lose many times for Mosh. other act more you have you have you, you lose you lose a lot of you, time you lose a lot of time if you or, i'm sorry i'm sorry yes. or you can say yeah. you lose too much time ah, you lose too much time so uh, uh, i think so teacher is is perfect it's, excellent Erwin, your opinion, please. How has the internet changed our lives? Okay, <laughs> give me a second. Uh, well, I think everything uh, in the uh, modern life turn around the internet. Turns, and turns around. Turns, turns around the internet and well we 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 think uh, we need to consider all the benefits of the internet and as all of my co my partners are uh, were saying saying that if you we use correctly the internet it's a good thing because the internet has changed business, the, the way that we do the business. Um, in, the, in the last time, by, uh, because the pandemic, uh, you, you can take your cell phone uh, with internet, internet and you, you can uh, pay for your lunch and business, education, government, healthcare, and even the ways in which we interact with the, our loved ones, um, the, the changes in social communication are of particular significance. Uh, the internet has removed, uh, I, as I said to my coworkers, 
that all communication barriers. So for me, it's uh, it's the best uh, for, for our evolution too. I'm sorry, guys. Okay. I need to take the second attendance. Uh, Amber Elia Alfaro Gomez. Present. Ana Claudia Gonzalez Velasquez. Present, teacher. Daniel Eduardo Segueda Valencia. Erwin Francisco Lopez Rojas. Present, teacher. Fernando Marvin Gonzalez Martinez. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. Fernando. Sorry. Thank you, Francisco. José Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Marta Ana Belinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Nicolás Atirio Méndez Granados. I am here. Nuria Elizabeth Lopez Perlera. I'm here, teacher. Rebecca Jasmine Monterosa Figueroa. Present. Roxana Ibed Asensio de Mejía. Present. Stephanie Alejandra Salmerón Ibarra. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present, teacher. Wilman Frank Figueroa Peñato. Present. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present, teacher. Shanira Elizabeth Asensio García. Present. Marcela Noemí Batres Monterrosa. Present. Walter Mauricio Morales Arau. Present. Thank you. Okay, now let's see. Another person who can give me his or her opinion. Mm -hmm. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Wilfredo, Jose Wilfredo, tell me. Okay, What's the difference you see with the, with the internet nowadays? Okay, in my opinion, teacher, um, the internet helped us a lot because gave us a lot of advantages about get a good knowledge and when we need to communicate with another person that use the internet, uh, like, like research, we can uh, share a lot of information too. And I guess that help us a lot because also, um, in those times, I guess that a lot of gadgets uh, are created to use the internet, like main uh, feature. So in my opinion, help us a lot. Okay, perfect, excellent. Very well done. Okay, guys, now next activity. Okay, we are talking about unit number two. The name of the unit is logistic, but we have a conversation here. We have to read this conversation between Alex and Pam about some issues with their order from and their distribution centers. Okay, now let's see. And the conversation goes like this. Sales will go down this month, Pam. There was a problem with the order forms from the website and the products were not delivered to the right distribution centers. Oh no, please call the managers from the distribution centers 
that receive our batteries. We have to inform them of the right storage temperature. I already did, but there is something I have to tell you. One of the crates was not handled correctly and the batteries are damaged. I will call them personally to request for the damaged batteries to be sent to the manufacturer. They will know what to do. I repeat, sales will go down this month, Pam. There was a problem with the order forms from the website and the products were not delivered to the right distribution centers. Oh no, please call the managers from the distribution centers that receive our batteries. We have to inform them of the right storage temperature. I already did, but there is something I have to tell you. One of the crates was not handled correctly and the batteries are damaged. I will call them personally to request for the damaged batteries to be sent to the manufacturer. They will know what to do. Okay, guys. Uh, perfect. Let's see? Okay, now please. Four minutes for practicing the conversation. Jump into the groups, they're created already. Down this month. Sales will go down this month, Pam. There was a problem with the order forms from the website and the products were not delivered to the right distribution centers. Oh no, please call the managers from the distribution centers that receive the bodies. We have to inform them of the right. Do you hear me, Susana? Excuse me? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. Hello? Hello. Okay. Uh, There's also yeah. Francisco here, don't forget. Oh, I just, I was a long teacher and suddenly boom, 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 you came, all of you came up at the same time. <laughs> yeah, we all want to practice with you. <laughs> okay, hello, Francisco. Manufacturer, they okay, will know what, what to do. I'm sorry. I see. Okay. <laughs> okay, now if you want, we damaged. I will call them personally to request to request for the damage barriers to be sent to the uh, to be sent to the manufacturer, they will know what to do. Okay, start again. Sales will go down this month. And there was a problem with the other firms from the website and the products were not delivered to the right distribution centers. Oh no, please call the managers from the distribution centers that received our batteries we have to inform them of the right storage temperature. I'm sorry to interrupt. Centers, mm -hmm. centers. Centers, okay. Okay, I, I already did, but to tell you, one of the craters was not hand, handled. One of the crates was not handled currently and the batteries are damaged. I will call them personality, personality 
to request personally. for personally to request for the damage. So we call everyone. Oh, well, well, let's just wait for everybody to come back. They're coming in a few seconds, nine seconds now. Hey, Roxana. When are we leaving? Hi, teacher. The 12th, right? Sorry? When are you leaving? In Sayapango? No, when? When are you leaving? <laughs> oh my God, I'm sorry to la la be laughing, Rosanna. But ah. the teacher is worried because he thinks you won't be connected to the class. <laughs> no, I want her to take me in the in the in one of the baggage. Ah, come on. <laughs> I need I'm that sorry, type of vacation. Nah, it's okay. No, no. This week no. Okay, you better, you better. <laughs> <laughs> she will be leaving in the when the final test uh, in the week for the final test. She says, <laughs> "No." <laughs> uh, oh, the more. day of the sorby. <laughs> yes, oh, yes, yes. No, yes. in that day she will be connected, right, Roxanne? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, they I will not. That to me. I will look for you. <laughs> Okay, guys, okay. let's see, let's see. Ana Claudia and Francisco. Francisco, are you ready? Yes, this, uh, I'm ready. Perfect. Ana Claudia, you start. Okay. Sales will go down this month, Pam. There was a problem with the order forms from the website and the products were not delivered to the right distribution centers. Oh no, please call the manager from the distribution center that receive our batteries. We have to inform them of the right storage temperature. I already did, but there is something I have to tell you. One of the crates was not handled correctly and the batteries are damaged. I will come down personally to request for the damaged batteries to be sent to the manufacturer. They will know what to do. Okay, perfect. Now, Erwin and Wilfredo. Erwin, you start. Okay. 
Okay, okay. Give me a second, please. Want me to share the image? Uh, I, I have it, I think. Okay. Okay. Sales will go down this month, Pam. There was a problem with the order from forms from the website and the products were not delivered uh, to the right distribution centers. Oh no, please call the managers from the distribution center that received all the batteries. We have to inform them of the right storage temperature. I, are, I already did, but there is something I have to tell you. One of the crates was not handled correctly and the batteries are damaged. I will call them personality to request for the damaged batteries to be sent to the manufacturer. They will know what to do. Okay, perfect. Well done, guys. Now, next. Um... Maria Alejandra and Nuria. Maria Alejandra, you'll start. Okay. Sales will go down this month. There was a problem with the order order from form from the website and the products were not delivered to the right distribution distribution centers. Oh no, oh, no. all the managers from the distribution center that receive our batteries. We have to inform them of the right storage tem temperature. I, I already did, but there is something I have to tell you. One of the crates was not handled correctly and the batteries are damaged. I will call them personally to request for the damaged batteries to be sent to the manufacturer, manufacturer. They will know what to do. Manufacturer, manufacturer. Manufacturer. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Ambar and Rebecca. Ambar, would you mind starting, please? Okay. Sales will go down this month. Um, there was a problem with the order for, forms from the website and the products were not delivered to right distribution centers. Oh no, please call the managers from the distribution centers that receive our batteries. We have to inform them of the right storage temperature. I already did, but there is something I have to tell you. One of the creates was not handled correctly and the batteries are damaged. I will call them personally to request for the damaged batteries to be sent to the manufacturer that will know what to do. Perfect. Yes, perfect. Thank you very much, both of you. Nicolas and Stephanie, please. Who will start, teacher? Uh, Stephanie starts. Okay. Sales will go down this month, and there was a problem with the order forms from the website, and the products were not delivered to the right distribution centers. Oh no! Please call the manager from the distribution centers that receive our batteries. We have to inform them of the right storage temperature. I already did, but there is something I have to tell you. One of the crates was not handled correctly and the batteries are damaged. I will talk, I will call them personally to request for the damaged batteries to be sent to be manufactured. They will know what to do. Perfect, thank you. Uh... Receive, receive, Nicholas. Receive. Perfect, thank you. Marcella and Frank. Frank, you'll start. 
okay? Sales will go down this month, Pam. There was a problem with the order forms from the website and the products were not delivered to the right distribution centers. Oh no, please call the managers from the distribution centers that received our batteries. We have to inform them of the right storage temperature. I already did, but there is something I have to tell you. One of the crates was not handled correctly and the batteries are damaged. I will call them personally to request for the damaged batteries to be sent to the manufacturer. They will know what to do. Perfect. Thank you. Martha and Walter. Who's that teacher? Walter starts. Okay. And sadness will go on now this moment. Um, the rest was a problem with the other form from the from the what time are the products were well, not delivered to the right distribution center. Oh no, please call the manager from the distribution center that receive our batteries. We have to inform them of the right storage temperature. I already did, but the reason I, I had to tell you one of the great was not handled correctly, and the batteries are the managed. I will call them personally to request for the damaged batteries to be sent to the manufacturer. They will know what to do. Okay, perfect. Now let's see, uh, Walter, there is something I have to tell you. There is something I have to tell you. Okay, there is something I had to tell you. Thank you. Perfect. Jose Wilfredo and Roxana. Jose Wilfredo, you'll start. Sales will go down this month, Pam. There was a problem with the order forms from the website and the product were not delivered to the right distribution centers. Oh no, please call the manager from the distribution centers that receive our batteries. We have to inform them of the right storage temperature. I really did, but there is something that I have to, but there is something I have to tell you. One of the crates was not handled correctly and the batteries are damaged. I will call them personally to request for the damaged battery to be sent to be sent to the manufacturer. They will know what to do. Okay, perfect. Now let's see um, Susanna and Erwin. Susanna, you will start. Okay, so we will go down this month. Pam, uh, there was a problem with the order from Forbes from the website and the products were not delivered to the right distribution center. Oh no, please call the managers from the distribution centers that receive our batteries. We have to inform them to the, of the right storage temperature. Already here, but there uh, is some time and have to tell you when the crate was not handled correctly and the batteries are damaged. I will call them personally, personally or personality? Personally. Personally to request for the damaged batteries to be sent to the manufacturer. And they will know what to do. Okay, perfect. Thank you, 
very much. Questions about the vocabulary from the conversation? Yes, I have, what's the meaning of a crate? Crate. Oh. Mm -hmm. One of the crates was not handled correctly. Maybe I had the idea, but I'm not sure. Okay, what's your idea? Explain it in English, please. Uh, I... <laughs> mm, um, big stuff where you organize the bodies, but I don't know. I no 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 sé como una caja de esas de madera grande donde guardo. Yes, exactly. Ah, pero en eh, el... el embalaje. Ah, okay, esa palabra. No. It could be la tarima, what we call tarimas here. O, oh, ajá, okay, tarima, embalaje, pero son ajá, esas cosas de madera, verdad? Yep. Ah, okay, thank you, Rich. No problem. Okay, Nicolas, got it. Now, guys, let's see. Next, next, next question for you. Okay. Now we are going to talk about, well, that's something that happens in some countries. Why do you think so many people stay single these days? You know, so many people stay single or they decide to get married uh, later on their lives or perhaps not getting married at all. And that happens even here in our country. Now, you will talk to your partner about why okay, do so many people stay single these days, okay? You're going to go to the, to the break room, breakout rooms. You're gonna be working okay, with your partner for four minutes. Please jump in. Jose, welcome. There goes Jose to room number six. Okay, Stephanie, why are <laughs> you single? Tell me, I why don't, are you single? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I don't have partner here. <laughs> no, 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 no. I was but waiting. Why are are you married, Stephanie? No, no, no. I have boyfriend, but I'm not married. <laughs> okay, now tell me, why do you think so many people stay single? I think maybe because well, I was thinking that, for example, before and uh, before in the in the la in the past times the people has to be married for the position or because I think sometimes the people's before so like we're the person that was on marriage or something like that but today I think it's like it's normal you can take your own decision you can say if I'm gonna marriage I'm not or I just want to be single and I sometimes I hear from some people that they prefer to be singles because they can do whatever they want for example they don't have to say nobody where they go they don't have To being alone. To being what? 
the people get used to being alone. Um, yeah. Maybe in my case, I have another project. And, mm -hmm. Well, I have a long time alone. <laughs> <laughs> it's my, I don't know. You're a single my, Yes. Oh, cool. It's my nature state status. <laughs> <laughs> We're you, both single. Are you? Single too. Oh, nice. So yes. you understand each other. Yes. <laughs> we oh. prefer to be alone and have our own plans. <laughs> yeah, I don't even we remember. I don't even remember what's to be single like. Oh, it was so long ago. <laughs> you have a lot of time, Mary. Mary. I'm alone with my pet. <laughs> I got married in 2002. Oh, wow. <laughs> I was so younger. <laughs> I can imagine. <laughs> How old are you, Rebecca? 25. Oh my gosh. <laughs> 25. And I'm not thinking to get married. I just want to cool. enjoy my life. That's cool. Look, Amber is, is still single and she's relaxed, right, Amber? Yeah. <laughs> Amber. How do you can... say, ya me resigné? <laughs> Well, no, no, it's not actually that, because I mean, if you really, really wanted to get with somebody, you could. I am sure of that. It's because you don't want, because if you really want to get with someone, I mean, that can happen, right? Maybe. <laughs> Perhaps mostly is that you don't want to. No, actually no. Okay, well, that, then there's the question. Maybe in Why the don't future, you? but now, no. Not at the moment. No. Okay, now not. Not now, not now. I think in another project, yeah. example, I, I want to travel, I want to buy my own house, I don't know. Yeah, that's nice, I mean, those are good projects. I mean, oh, believe me, getting married too early is hard, pretty hard. Yes, I meet uh, another person uh, that get married very young. And I think the people I don't know, no disfrutó su juventud. Yeah, I know. Yeah, no, actually, I got married in 2003. I was 23 years old at that time. Oh, really? And, yeah, my wife was 22. And you? 23. Uh, we were. You, you was very young. Yeah, we were pretty young at that time. My but, son is my son is nineteen years old. Uh, but I think you you have a good relationship with the with your wife. Oh yeah, it's, it's a long easy. time together. Yeah, it's pretty easy. Chico man, say obey. Simple. <laughs> It's like a, As can be. <laughs> a song in, como dice, ay, mi mujer me gobierna. <laughs> you are so evil, Amber. You are a bad girl, a bad girl. I'm out of here.
Roxana, were you in the group? No sé por qué me salí. No le apreté Same nada. No, pero acabo de venir. No estaba aquí. Mm. Justo cuando se entró entre yo, estaba con José Wilfredo. Oh, then I kick you out. Ok. Ya ve, me está regañando. <laughs> Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Is everybody coming? Okay, we were talking about why do people stay single? Okay. Why do they choose? Why do so many people stay single in these days? What do you think about it? Uh, let's see. Nuria, what do you why do you think people stay single in these days? In these days? And I, I was thinking or when I was talking with my partner. I focus my answer in two aspects. One of these is when you are a professional woman, you look for a, a, a man with the similar conditions. It is, I think uh, this, it, it, it happens. It happened to me for that reason that I think uh, this idea. And the other one is when, when the when the women are in their forties, maybe they usually maybe they get married before, but I they had a bad opportunity or bad experience with some men with her with their husband maybe, and it's for that reason that in their studies they oh, are come single. On, Maria. We are saints. Love is in the air. Yeah, we are saints, Nuria. We are saints. What do you think? What do you, I don't understand. You are. Que somos santos. <laughs> ah, pero con dos cachos, teacher. No, no, no. no, no. Not oh. always. Not always. Not always. <laughs> okay, okay. Now. And now we are going to go, thank you, Maria. We are going to go to the other side of the coin. In what cases do you think, guys, divorce is divorce justified? Okay, let's see, let's see. Oh yeah, we are getting serious now. Let me tell you why am I asking this? Because if you notice the type of questions I am asking you, uh, they ask for you to think, to structure a whole idea and to express your idea, to explain yourself. So in this case, we are focusing more in reading, not just comprehension, but also analyzing and then production. That's the goal of the activity. And that's why some of the questions that I'm throwing to you are that type of questions that really make you think, okay? So let's see, where's Marta? Marta, hello. I'm here. In what cases is divorce justified? Well, I think so in all cases when the two person lost the trust, I think so. Okay, when there's yeah. no more trust in the relationship. Yeah, okay, for me perfect. is the reason. Okay, okay. Excellent, thank you. Now let's see, Jose Wilfredo, you've been very quiet. Tell me, in what cases is divorce justified for you? I don't know, teacher, but I'm agree with, I, I guess that was- Marta. Uh, Marta, yeah. When there is no more trust. Yeah, that's right. Okay, excellent. Roxana, what about you? Well, my 
point of view is this. I think that people get divorced when uh, maybe have uh, infidelity on there, okay. or maybe when people are not too happy and have a lot of problem in her in their relationship. And I don't know, maybe uh, when have a, a lot of difference between or something like that. Okay, perfect, thank you. Now okay. let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Mm -hmm. Maria Alejandra, what about you? Oh, you're single, right? <laughs> But, but she can she can give her opinion. Yeah. I'm going to support Let's your friends. Listen. Let's listen to you, Maria Alejandra. In what cases is the word justified? Uh, if you have a point and you decide that relation or doesn't, not, doesn't uh -huh, or the love is finished. You decide to don't continue, don't continue with the relation, and divorce is a good option. Okay, <laughs> okay. thank you. But your life is Anna, at risk, teacher. Anna Claudia, what about you? <laughs> I think that is uh, justified when your life or your case is at risk, and also uh, your property is at risk. Name, you can name it house, money, whatever. Whenever your life and those things are at risk, it's because there is no longer there is a trust. It's better for you to run. Go, go, go. Okay. Interesting. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Now, let's see, Erwin, what about you? I mean, men talking here. Tell me your opinion. <laughs> with the okay. I am happily divorced since four years ago. <laughs> <laughs> you see, wisdom me. <laughs> <laughs> so nice, nice phrase. Happily divorced. <laughs> and if you if you want to to have a mental health, it's a good idea to divorce. Um, why we divorced with my ex-wife? Because we, we, we're going to be incompatible, incompatible? On, on, incompatible. Incompatible. So we decided that we didn't, we, uh, we didn't continue even together. Uh, and right now we are good friends because our children. We have oh. four children. Uh -huh. Perfect, interesting, thank you. Now let's see, where's, 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 where's? Francisco, are you around still? I never get Francisco's station. This is sure, I'm here. Okay, tell me Francisco. Uh, in, in what cases do you think divorce is justified? Francisco? Well, uh, I, I think uh, uh, we uh, can uh, many reasons, but I think that the most the most important uh, they are uh, uh, when the truth loss, uh, infidelity, or okay. uh, I don't, I don't know that the, the word is correct uh, when uh, they are violence. I'm sorry. Uh, violence. Oh, violence. Yeah, yeah, of course. Violence, yeah, I understand yes. you. Yes. Excellent, uh, excellent. For for me, uh, this is the the point and. Okay, that where people could get. What about you, Nicholas? What do you think? Well, the infidelity is 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 a is a reason. Is a reason. Is, is a one reason. reason. 
It's, yes, yes, it's some reason. And uh, I think it is for no understand, uh, understand you, understand you with understanding. Understanding. Uh, I think uh, I, for me, is is very is is is. E, no, no, no. Is recommend, uh, <clears throat> no is recommend divorce because uh, it's uh, some reason uh, for divorce are uh, are some answers. Um, okay, perfect. Excellent, excellent. Well, guys, uh, let me tell you, you did a pretty good job. Uh, today, the question has been very interesting and you have had to practice and participate. Uh, I was checking all the groups. Uh, it was a very good activity. I know that some of you didn't have the chance to participate that much. I'm sorry, like Walter, Susana, let's see who else, uh, Maria Alejandra. But tomorrow, be sure that I will take you into an account so we can practice more, okay, during the class. Guys, let me get the final attendance, please. Wow, time has flown tonight, which is good. Ambar Eli Alfaro Gomez. Present. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present, teacher. Daniel Eduardo Segueda Valencia. Present. Erwin Francisco López Rojas. Present. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present. I'm sorry. Thank you, Fernando. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Thank you. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. José Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present, teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present, teacher. Marta Ana Belinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Nicolás Satilio Méndez Granados. Present. Noria Elizabeth López Carrera. Present teacher. Rebeca Jasmine Monterrosa Figueroa. Present. Roxana Ibera Asensio de Mejía. Present. Stephanie Alejandra Salmerón Ibarra. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Wilmen Frank Figueroa Peñate. Present. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Shanira Elizabeth Asensio García. Present. Marcela Noemí Batres Montarrosa. Present. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Thank you very much. Hey guys. Appreciated you being here in class. Expect to see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Enjoy your rest. Good night. 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 Good night, everybody. See you tomorrow. See where is Amba? Amba, you were supposed to stay here.
well, thank you all. See you tomorrow.